Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are one day away from Team of the Year starting in FC24, but with so many things coming like the Men's Team of the Year, the Women's Team of the Year, Team of the Year icons, and even Team of the Year honorable mentions, what is the schedule? Like, when are all of these cards coming into packs? And we got to know this because when are we going to start opening our packs that we're getting so close to opening on this game? We're going to talk about all of that and, of course, look at some of the new leaks that we have for Evolutions, the entire Women's Team of the Year, and a lot more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's go over yesterday's content in Team of the Year warm-up. Of course, we had upgrade packs and it was the upgrade packs that we were expecting we had the 83 times five midfielders upgrade and it's coming in at a very bearable requirement of an 84 rated squad only 25,000 coins guys once again these are technically kind of overpriced i mean 83s are a thousand coins 1.5k right now you're getting five of them from this midfielders upgrade you're doing this sbc to open it during team of the year to hopefully pack a team of the year card right we know it's a bit overpriced but that is our team of the year upgrade sbc we didn't get any of the 85 plus upgrades which I have some thoughts on. We'll share that a little bit later. Of course, the refresh of the 83 times 10 in the daily log and upgrade as it does every single day. Now, the big SBC yesterday was the icon. It was Zico, right? They drop a midfielder SBC when the midfielder packs are out. 12 squads only to get Zico done. A brand new icon in FC24. We talked about this when it was leaked a couple of days ago. This card is unbelievable, and really, people are super excited for this SBC because it gives you a chance to craft an icon that would be very, very, very difficult to get otherwise. I mean, tough to pack, right? He's over a million coins. This SBC is coming in at a bearable price point, and a lot of people like it also at the price point. 1.4 million coins. Again, one of the reasons I think that people are seeing this SBC right now as not overpriced is because we all have so many packs to get opened for Team of the Year that we know there's going to be upgrade packs. We're going to be able to craft this pretty easily. And also, they're giving us a lot of packs and objectives with SBC packs that are out that are easy to grind and especially the gameplay objectives i'll say that again it is really easy to get sbcs like this crafted easier than you would think with some time grinding the game with rewards and stuff like that because the packs are so plentiful so even though it's more expensive than the card that is actually on the market i think people are very very happy for this and i think it's an okay cost right this was a card that was very expensive earlier on in the year his card on the market has dropped off considerably even further uh, because of the SBC being at a decent price point. And it's probably, I would imagine, going to drop off a good amount even still during team of the year. I mean, his card is now under 1.1 million coins. I saw him all the way down at like close to 1 million flat. So he's going to fluctuate. But that is a, an SBC <clears throat> that people are very, very hyped about because of the craftability that is there for it. Now, we're going to talk about fodder in a little bit, but also as a part of yesterday's content, we had what you saw when we loaded into the game. The team of the year loading screen, all right, is updated to show us two players, which we think we know, right? This player on the left here, which this, this is EA confirming, by the way, two playstyle pluses for basically all these cards we're assuming, but especially for a couple of them on the loading screen. We have here Trivella plus and Quickstep plus. That is definitely Kylian Mbappe, right? A lot of his cards, his base card has Quickstep plus. I think only his player of the month maybe has the Rapid plus or maybe one of his other versions. I can't remember, but Trivella is a playstyle that he also has. This Mbappe is going to be so medic. Trivella plus and Quickstep plus, unbelievable. And then the icon we believe is Mia Ham, right? That seems like a very high level card they want to put on the loading screen with Power Shot Plus and Dead Ball Plus. This could also potentially be Mateus, we think. Not entirely sure who that is, but Mia Ham is the most likely uh, to be that card on the loading screen that they are teasing. And I imagine today they will tease a few more cards on the loading screen as well. So that was a part of content. I want to show you guys that because that is very nice to see as you log into the game. The official card designs with two plus play styles on those cards now a part of yesterday's content as well you could argue was the leaked women's team of the year and it's it's something man i'll tell you these cards are re looking really really cracked of course the ratings the stats and even the positions and, and the dynamic images those are all predictions right now what is not a prediction is the players that are in now 
Sam Kerr, Sophia Smith, Graham Hansen, Puteas, Bonmati. Some of the big names are in there, um, but some of the big names are not. Rolfo did not get into the team. That was a card that a lot of people were hoping for. Diani, a lot of people were hoping for as well. This team looks really solid. Own a battle at right back is going to be absolutely insane. Karchawi is going to be nuts. Um, and guys, looking now at the men's and the women's team of the year sides, both side by side. It looks like, to me, if I can find the page here, there it is, the page right here. It looks to me that uh, if you're going to start thinking about the best upgrade packs with the combinations of the leagues, right? You've got the men's league and the women's league from the same country combined in upgrade packs. So like Barclays Women's Super League and Premier League in the same upgrades. If you're opening those Premier League, the English packs, right? If we just categorize it by the nationality, uh, you're looking at nine team of the years between Holland, Rodri, De Bruyne, Van Dyke, Allison, Ruben Diaz, and then Earps, Bright, and Sam Kerr. Nine team of the years from those Premier League upgrade packs. And in second place with the most team of the years packable would be La Liga. Four of those being the women's Barca team members with Hansen, Bonmati, Puteas, and Onya Battle. And then, of course, you've got Jude from La Liga in the men's team. Now, of course, there could be additions, right, with the 12th man and 12th woman, whoever are, is in the voting. That could add to those certain specific leagues. But off of the bat, it's looking like uh, La Liga and Prem will be the best of uh, the upgrade packs to do. League one shouldn't be too bad. You'll have Renard, Karchawi, and Mbappe. So you'll have three chances there. Not too terrible. And of course, team of the year uh, honorable mentions, whenever those get released into packs, uh, that will be a big part of deciding what upgrade packs we do as well. But now we have it fully leaked our two team of the year teams. And we think that they're going to be released in succession, right? And let's talk about that next. Let's talk about the team of the year schedule. Because on the loading screen, right, as you log into the game, it says that team of the year starts tomorrow on Friday. Team of the year will launch Friday, January 19th at 6 p.m. UK time. But... That does not mean, as you all know, that all of those Team of the Year cards are going to be packed. This Friday is not the day where it will probably be the smartest. It's not the day to be opening all of your packs, only some of them. So let's look at the schedule, right? And let's clear this up because we had some leaks yesterday. And also, looking back on last year for Team of the Year, we can kind of expect how this is going to go down. This is what one of the leakers, FIFA Romania, tweeted yesterday with the schedule of Team of the Year. As expected, EA is starting with just the attackers in packs first, but there will be more than just attackers in packs tomorrow, and we'll talk about that in a second. But it's the same schedule that we have had for the past couple of years. Attackers in packs for the first two days. Then midfielders replace them for the next two days. Then defenders starting on January 23rd for two more days. And it seems weird, but it happened last year and it happened in years past. On Thursday, we shall get the full team in packs. Thursday, January 25th, we'll have the full team in in packs and it will be in packs until next friday so it'll be in packs for eight days february 2nd will be the time that all of those team of the year cards go out of packs and once again it shows holland bellingham and van dyke here in this graphic but we assume that it would mean the men's and the women's attackers men's and women's midfielders and defenders and all the way down the line they will both be released together as um, that specific position related release there now also like we mentioned we have Team of the Year icons that are on deck, and we have a whole host of Team of the Year icons that are leaked. These are all the leaked Team of the Year icons as of right now, and there is a Team of the Year icon, as we just looked at, on the loading screen. So that tells me that just like last year, there are going to be Team of the Year icons that come in packs tomorrow on Friday with the start of Team of the Year of the year and the attackers that are going to come out as well now i think what they'll do is just like they did last year split up the release of the icons into two different teams i think last year we had like hullet and beckham in the first team and then we had other uh, team of the year icons like what was it uh pele no not pele ronaldinho i think gerd muller those guys were in the second release of the team of the year icon so i'm expecting to have half of the icons released today they'll be in packs for a little while then they release the second set and uh that's how that will kind of go for the team of the year icons so look for the loading screen today to maybe reveal a, a few more clues about who these cards may be or maybe just more entirely about how many icons or how many team of the year cards uh there are going to be in packs especially we're curious about the number of icons right because these are all of the ones that we have leaked right now but one of those which we'll talk about is actually going to be 
and SBC. So that's how I think the Team of the Year icons are going to be split up. And then, of course, you think about Team of the Year honorable mentions as well. Um, those will probably be in packs on the 26th. So a week from tomorrow. So it's like stuff coming in and out of packs at the same time. The best thing to know is, is that Thursday the 25th will be the day that all the Team of the Year cards are supposed to be in packs. And then next Friday, the 26th, will be the day that like almost everything is in packs, right? Your honorable mentions. Maybe the second team of Team of the Year icons. There may be a little bit of overlap there, but you'll have Team of the Year icons, the full Team of the Year, and honorable mentions in packs on Friday the 26th, next Friday, which would arguably be the best time to be opening a lot of your packs. Now, of course, for some of you guys, maybe like me included, that just can't wait that long, that's why we have a couple of these attackers packs, right? You can open up some of your 583 plus attackers and midfielders and probably the defender packs that we get today during the week if you want to do that. I don't think that it increases, decreases your chance of packing a team of the year card. As always, I try to open most of my packs when the entire team of the year is out because these cards are so difficult to pack anyway. I mean, I don't think there's anything to be said about, oh, they're easier to pack during the positional releases. No, I don't think so. But I would wait until the full team is out to get the best chance at packing all the team of the years. The honorable mentions, of course. And also by that time, more SBCs are out. So from a crafting perspective, you have more options to put your fodder into like upgrade packs like icon picks and icon packs or player picks like these. And then also more player SBCs that will probably be getting some news about soon as well. Now, speaking about news, we're talking about evolutions next because yes, we had the icon evolution. That wasn't that good. It is time to think about team of the year evolutions guys and we have a couple of leaks that i want to look at you maybe have noticed some players on footbin at the top of the pop of their page and yeah it definitely has to do with these leaks that's what i'm going to talk about right now there are two evos that are leaked and they're actually both for a similar position this was tweeted by rick who had a lot of uh, evo leaks earlier on this year and they've all been spot on Team of the Year Visionary Evo is the first one. It costs 100,000 coins, so it must be halfway decent. Now, overall maximum is 77 rated, 82 pace, 88 physical, 82 dribble. Position is center defensive mid. There is a play style. Um, you have to have zero play style pluses on the card. You get a weak foot, and you get anticipate plus play style, right? Usually when they require no play styles pluses, they give out one as well, especially at where we're at right now in the power curve. So it looks like it gives the anticipate plus, which is a very, very good play style. And this is for a center defensive mid plus 12 overall. So that means at maximum, you're getting an 89 rated evolved card here, 77 plus 12, plus eight pace, 10 dribbling, 12 physical, Eight interceptions, 10 vision, vision, seven crossing, and then short, long pass, defensive awareness, and stand tackle are all plus 10. That is a massive upgrade, right? And one card that is going up for this right now is Schloop from Crystal Palace in the Premier League. He's got the 82 pace, right? So with this boost, he would go to 90 pace. 82 plus 8. He would go to 90 pace on the card, and he would be Hullet Gang across the rest of the card. Um, that's crazy. Like, that's that's incredible maybe not for shooting he might not be whole gang and shooting but that's going to be an absolutely nuts card he'll be like 88 rated with 90 pace and insane stats he'll have anticipate plus play style and he'll get a boost to the weak foot so yeah he's three star two star but that's what this evo looks like it's going to be best for taking a maybe a silver but probably a low rated gold and taking them up to a honestly pretty meta card so for me i was hoping for something where i might be able to build on some of these other evolutions that I'm still working on at the moment, like this Weston McKenney. Weston McKenney fits one of the Evos that is leaked, but not this version of him that I'm trying to evolve right now, right? Only his base gold version. That's a little bit of a downside to me, at least. I was hoping for my Evos to be upgraded, like ones they already have, but it looks like this is going to be an opportunity to get new evolutions upgraded. Now, that's only the first Evo that has been leaked. The second one is called Team of the Year Unsung Hero, which is also for midfielders again a center defensive mid and a center mid evolution that's a little bit weird to me but it's seventy five thousand coins and it is overall max 79 these evos almost seem the exact same it's like taking a midfielder and boosting them up to be a current meta card this one uh gives a weak foot as well it gives pinged pass anticipate and long ball pass and i guess evidently it gives you a team of the year honorable mentions card or something like that like a card design 
that's pretty cool so we like that this one does not have any mention of a team of the year honorable mentions card design or a specific team of the year evo card type but this one does rarity team of the year honorable mentions okay but again it's just it's a massive boost right you're taking a card that is max overall 79 with 79 pace giving it plus six pace so you can go all the way up to 85 pace but dribbling and physicality are maxed at 77 and you're both getting a plus 10 boost on dribbling and a plus nine on physicality that means that all of your player stats are going to be boosted from like the low to mid 70s up into the low to mid 80s that's a pretty solid evolution as well there's going to be some really meta cards created from that as well for 75,000 coins so if you're looking at the top of footman popular right now and you're seeing random players pop up like schloop uh weston mckenney was up here and inflated in price recently I scroll down the list here you see a lot of center mids and center defensive mids that are like 77 rated and below those are cards that are being pushed up in price right now because people are investing based off of this evo league so again we wouldn't expect those evos to be out until at least tomorrow and then probably a couple those couple dropping during the weekend um we'll, we'll just have to see how it actually looks on the card when we see it in game if there's a special card design i mean the evo card designs like the special ones are sick if there's a team of the year one and it doesn't look like this like this card design i don't know it's all right but a specific team of the year related evo design would be a huge draw for me to do an evolution like that and i hope uh that the upgrades are as good as they are advertised in those leagues which they should be uh but that that could be a nice evo the only downside i think for me is i was hoping to upgrade something that i already had like i'm not going to be able to do a new weston mckenney evo even if this evo for weston mckenney if it looks better like his card is inflated in price right now i think he's like 5k on a bid wow like, I would rather have done maybe this card in this Evo instead of doing the one that I already started. I'm a little bit disappointed about that. But we'll find some new opportunities, and it'll be a cool opportunity to make some Evo cards get a really good boost. Now, let's talk about the market, right? Market prices have been moving a lot, especially as there was more panic selling yesterday. Prices going up, prices going down at the same time. That's what I want to talk about in today's video. The biggest thing that I noticed yesterday is, yes, there's still panic selling going on, but also people are starting to invest and buy cards because they know that this is near the lower points. Look at the Schneider, 1.13 for Schneider. That's very, very low for him. Um, Hyunmin Sun, I bought yesterday for 780,000 coins, and I sold it just an hour ago for 880K. A huge flip for me there, but that's how the prices are fluctuating. Prices are dropping a lot, but then they're starting to go up a lot as people are buying these really high-tier meta cards that they expect to go up after Team of the Year for their teams. Take a look at the Mbappe specials. Mbappe was 2.5 to 2.6 yesterday, and on Tuesday he was as well, 2.5 to 2.6. Now he is upwards of 2.7 mil, approaching even 2.8, as people are starting to buy these cards as they know this is going to be the low point for a lot of those items. And a lot of those, like um, I think Virgil van Dijk, I think Puteus, um, even on a little bit of a lower tier, Sophia Smith, Okay, Virgil van Dijk is no way he's actually 2 million coins, but that must be a rarity spike. But you can see he's starting to go up, right? 1.46 yesterday. He went to 1.53. He was just 1.59. That must be a rarity spike for sure. But he's starting to go up there. This is happening around a lot of the markets. Sophia Smith was leaked into Team of the Year yesterday. Her card price went from 170K straight up to 190,000 coins. It looks like it's close to 190 right now with one undercut there at 182. So a lot of your top tier meta market is starting to rise but there's still prices around the market that are kind of dropping that are kind of low um, and now knowing what we know about the evos coming out i might be a little more careful buying a center mid for my team especially like a center defensive mid even though this ramirez card is probably going to end up going up this is a card and, and maybe some other middle to lower tier center mids um, i would be a little bit more careful with because if this evo if those evos do come out that's going to create opportunities for people to upgrade cards in their team via evolutions and maybe create less demand on the market that and sbc players will really contribute to prices either going up a lot or maybe not rising as much but there's still prices on the market that are dropping too as people are are panic selling right uh prices yesterday on like this gabriel jesus thunderstruck 100,000 coins for him was very low. 
Um, Joao Felix's fire card yesterday went from like 540k, I think, down to 450. And right now he's still like 460, 470. I'm not expecting the market to fly today by any means, but I would say if there's a really meta top tier card that's out of packs or a card that a lot of people are going to want to get during team of the year, like this Ribery, Ribery was he's still 460k. This is a card that especially um, he's expected to get a team of the year icon, which is going to be very expensive. This is a five-star, five-star Franck Ribery card with technical plus, one of the most overpowered um, playstyle pluses in the game. He's going to go up after Team of the Year 100%. That's a crazy, crazy card. A lot of people are going to want to use Ribery, and he's only 400 k Like, that's cheap. That's really cheap. So that's a card that I think is going to go up. There's so many. I'm trading with stuff right now because the fluctuations are crazy. But watch for more dip opportunities today. If we start to get leaks about Team of the Year honorable mention cards, I think that would be like one of the last things that could cause some more panic on the market specifically for some big name players that maybe didn't get in team of the year whenever those leaks come whether it's this week whether it's next week i'd watch out for those leaks to impact the market as well let's talk about fodder all right because fodder i know a lot of you guys have i still have it i've sold most of my fodder yesterday on the lazy sales i still have some 85s and i'm here just kind of stocked on my transfer list ready for spcs that i will be doing during team of the year as well um but you know my 87s getting them out for like 16 to 17k i don't have that much left i've got a couple of 90 rated like five or six of them and then i've got literally three 87s and 185 and my club is starting to run out of like 83s and 84s as well but fodder prices have actually started to drop just a little not a lot but just a little bit 2.5k for 84s they were 2.8 yesterday the peak prices for a lot of these cards was around the SBC release and i think what you're seeing now is people are starting to sell their fodder investments before they know that it's going to drop this weekend on friday right 100 percent. we have invested in fodder last weekend knew that we were going to sell it sometime during this week and now as we're getting toward the end of the week People are starting to sell off these cards because they know these cards are going to drop on Friday. It's like, yeah, Nate, people are saving packs, right? They're not opening. People are going to be opening packs on Friday with lightning rounds and everything going on. Fodder could be, again, spiking today at the content drop. If I was somebody that had fodder left, which I still do, I would be lazy listing it and trying to get out of it probably around the content drop today with the more SBCs that do come out. Now, another big point of discussion right now on this game is the price of team of the week cards guys team of the week cards are down at like 25 26 000 coins but i have worries because with the way the content drop yesterday worked we didn't get any of the 85 plus attacker midfielder or defender specific packs right we had the 83 plus not the 85 without the 85s dropping i don't think team of the weeks are going to be required in anything else today and that means that team of the year cards could potentially drop down even lower um and i don't really want to be invested in them right now i guess you still have 83 times 10 demand and there's people that just believe in team of the week investing now because it's been so profitable but maybe the reign of team of the weeks is done maybe they're going to finally drop back down to a little bit of a lower price i know uh, that they're still in demand for a lot of the icon of species and they'll still be needed during team of the year so it's not like team of the years are completely dead just yet but i don't think their prices are going to go up that much today with just the 83 times 10 requiring them as i don't expect anything else to be dropped today that will require them so i don't think they're going to go up i'm not investing in them uh, those prices are kind of mudded um, and they might continue to stay that way and they might even drop further today into tomorrow now one thing i want to talk about today as well that could impact team of the weeks is if you missed it when you log into the game um, in the past couple of days ea has given out champs qualification points and that also said in that message that champs rewards were going to be updated now as i'm checking them right now they are not updated the rewards are the same it's an 84 plus campaign mix a 50k a 125 for rank 5 an 85 double and then three player picks watch for weekend league rewards today potentially to be updated after rivals right the rivals rewards payout time today has been a time before where they've changed weekend league rewards and ea said they were going to in that little in-game message so i don't know how they're going to change it today um, but the way that that pertains to team of the week is if they were to do what they used to do and give us tradable team of the week packs instead of like those tradable 85 pluses i'm not saying they're going to i'm just saying it's my theory if they were to do that team of the weeks would go back 
to probably discard. The reason that Team Elite cards are not discard this year and between 10 to 20,000 coins, instead they're like 20 to 40, is because we don't have that constant Team of the Week supply every single week from people playing Week in League and getting those tradable cards and listing them up. So if they put those cards back in rewards, Team of the Week's are going to tank. I know they're supplied uh, or they're they're in demand a lot, but they're going to absolutely tank if that happens. So watch out for that today. I'm not trying to scare any team weak investors. I'm just trying to enlighten you about potential things that could be happening. That's only an if scenario. So watch for the reward change today. Keep an eye on that. And then yeah, SBC wise today, we kind of know what we're going to be getting, right? The 83 times 5 defender pack, right? I would expect that to be dropped today. The 83 5 midfielder was an 84 rated squad defender is probably going to be the exact same thing 83 is actually moved the most i don't think i would buy 84s for this i would look into 82s and 83s because the 83s yesterday were up at like 1.8 to 1.9 k they really went up a bunch uh, because more people are buying those instead of the 84s but watch for one last spike on fodder today and i think there actually might be another sort of upgrade pack i think last year they dropped an 83 double the day before team of the year came out just as like another upgrade SBC that you could you could do I think the 85 double yeah it expires on Friday and 83 double might be dropping today that would be out with the team of the year logo on it that would be out during team of the year there would just be an SBC you could recycle into I don't expect it to be anything big but it could be out today and then of course icon SBC Thursday Cafu. We're getting Cafu today. It's known. And Cafu, just like Zico, is going to be a very widely accepted SBC. Like, Cafu's a lot cheaper, though. And that's why I think this one uh, might impact the market a bit more. He's 600,000 coins. If the SBC is any less than 800k or even 900k but specifically if it's like seven to eight hundred thousand coins i think people would look at that sbc if it's like seven squads or eight squads and be like wow i can get an end game or a team of the season a, a, a right back that can last me until team of the season in my team for seven squads and only a couple hundred thousand coins this is going to be a card that you see a ton um in weekend leagues in the next couple of months because that sbc is going to be completed by a lot of people. So watch out for right backs today once again and be careful with that. Of course, today is Rivals Rewards. I don't Im impact that. I don't expect that to impact the market a ton. Marquee matchups dropping today too. Um, and maybe an objective refresh or two as well in that section. The new patch has been dropped. I downloaded it yesterday. Um, and I hear the rumors that the evolution, um, unclaimed evolution thing is still going on um, and still works. Uh, I don't know. Um, I haven't had, I don't have any cards available personally to test it. I saw some people tweet yesterday that it was patched, but I don't think that's actually true. We're probably not going to figure it out until we get some more Evos that people would actually be able to put unclaimed Evos into and see if it allows them to do that, if that works at all. But again, I still have to imagine that EA would want to patch that pretty soon because that can't be something that they would want. People creating absolutely nuts Evo cards uh, with that kind of like back and to work around inside of the menus in this game. So watch the market today. It'll be a good place to trade. If you want to flip cards like I've been doing, like here's the sun that I bought for 776. Um, lazy listing is working good. I bought Foden for 100 flat, sold it at 115, 113. I bought a Terstegen at 85, sold it at 107. And then I've got some other cards still that I'm flipping as well. Another Foden that I'm going to list up at 113 that I bought at 101. Uh, Viali is a card that I love to trade right now. I keep buying them at 400. And right now the cheapest is 440K, which is going to be mine. I'm going to take the quick flip there. And I'm going to get my coins back and ready for more madness on the market tomorrow on Friday. It's going to be a mad day. It's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of coins to be made. And hopefully some team of the years to be packed. So if you enjoyed the video today, guys, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Wood Count. See you guys in a Twitch stream today. That link is down below in the description. As always, peace.